Hi everyone, welcome back to another haul video. This is another collective haul um, and this is the first part of this collective haul. Um, I don't know how many parts there are going to be, um, whether there will be a couple of videos or one video, um, I'm not sure, but this is the first few things for the September collective haul. Um, not huge amounts as I am still waiting for some things in the post and um, one of these parcels I did August uh, did order in August um, and it's it's recently arrived so <clears throat> right where are we I will start with the biggest thing and I know it's not Christmas yet but um, there was a lovely lady on Facebook who makes these um, covers and she does all sizes of the happy planner it is completely handmade and her company when my phone wants to focus is called happy covers sorry about my scribble i needed to write that down just so i didn't forget the name of her company and i basically have decided that i'm gonna have a christmas planner um that i'm gonna kind of use year like yearly and obviously plan for things slightly before christmas so this was the gorgeous silver trees is what this design is called and she basically it's like a leathery like a faux leather material and she has the plastic down the sides with the punches and it is double-sided as well so on the inside and on the outside there are designs and that's what the designs kind of look like I love this tree where it says Merry Christmas which is really cool and then this would be the the front or the back again so that was really cool um as i said she this is part of her christmas collection um and they are really really reasonably priced and didn't take too long to arrive bearing in mind it's all completely handmade and hand stitched and the quality seems really really nice so far so thank you very much for those happy covers um and i very much look forward to setting this up and hopefully getting a video of setting this up for you guys um the next thing came from the wonderful faith at faffington on instagram and she has recently opened a little shop um, which is called uh, faffington faffs and this is handmade faffy bits so this is her little uh, welcome card um, and on the back bless her she wrote a cute little note just about my order um it was a little bit late but it didn't bother me i just uh wondered where it was so i did message her but she very kindly sent me three um so one of them was a gift and on the back there was the note saying um use the normal rose gold paper as the rose crackle wouldn't laminate very well so she sent me these three and she makes them all by hand and they are basically like little laminated um, you could use them as bookmarks you could punch them and use them um, to kind of as page markers if you wanted in a happy planner or in another planner um, and I got the initial Y because obviously my nickname is yum um, so the first one is this beautiful and it kind of doesn't really matter which way round I have it um, but it's this beautiful black Y I think it is that way um, and it has these nice pink and beige bits with this really pretty bit of floral and then I have this one which has this design and it's got the rose gold wire with the cut out so that's quite cool that's really unique and then this one with the full block rose gold wire with the patterned paper underneath so they're really really cool I am taking some nail inspo out of this one yes I did my nails especially for this video Ta-da! Um, not quite sure what's going on with my lighting today probably because it's dark outside but there we go so they are the three bits from Faith so thank you very much Faith and I love the little note you really didn't need to add that extra one in but that's very kind of you and I cannot wait to show these off in my planners I may just put them in my planner just like as a little display because they're just absolutely gorgeous um so yeah that's that from Faith so thank you Faith um then I ordered from a B stash now I can never remember who I order from um but in this D stash I picked up 
one kit and a bunch of foil and a bunch of little dots so these are little dots i don't know where they're from i don't know what shop they're from but they're kind of like slightly glossy and they're quite thick as well so i just thought i'd use them in my functional planners to mark a little list of things <coughs> picked up these foils um so there's these kind of four coverage foils from a shop called planning city and they're in hollow so i'll keep those together and use those in a kit maybe in this kit i don't know yet um i got this which looks like a little freebie they are little confetti heart and bow overlays where my camera wants to focus there we go wow that is so hollow um and then i picked up these two which are kind of like a gold on camera they look a little bit more rose gold but they're def or maybe even a little bit more silver i don't know Ooh. but they're definitely like a gold um and they are again just overlay boxes um they're leaf overlay boxes apparently so again i'll keep those for a kit and then this kit is called crafty it's a scribble prince co kit i think it's a mini kit i'm actually just gonna see if i can take it out Ooh. Is it open? oh it's there <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so this is a kit called Crafty, obviously it's Scribble Prints Co, so it's glossy, and I've found the best glossy, or the best pen to use for glossy now, so I can actually buy glossy kits, which is great, um, and actually use them. So this is the artwork, let's focus you in. You have deco on this page, along with the weekend banner and some boxes and things half boxes labels quarter boxes and little things um some weekly checklists heart checklist flags icons um trackers and some flags and things and then this would be wow that's so pretty you can't really see the design but it's really really detailed i'm gonna see if i can oh there you go it's like a confetti with the date dots uh, sorry the date covers and the bottom washi I'm trying to show you there it's like blue and pink and a bit of gray that is really pretty i really like that kit not quite sure when i'll use it but i'm sure i will find a time in my planner all these kits um oh i will show you one other thing as well bear with me before i carry on with the rest of this haul um i'll haul these boxes they are i'm gonna see if i can zoom you guys out a little bit it's becoming a bit more of a vloggy style haul again. Bear with me. Oop. Okay, so these... You'll be able to see my camera stand now. These are the really useful boxes. They are the three litre boxes. And I have discovered that they can hold all of my kits. So what I've done is I have put all of my kits in these 5 by 7 plastic bags because i know i can reuse them if i purchase the kit or i can add to them if i find add-ons for each for the kits or have things to be able to use with the kits and i have put them all in here i have used some old dividers that i actually made for when i was using these boxes for something different um, so for example i've labeled this one the prairie planner and behind each one has all of that company's kits that i have so i have two boxes of these that shows how many um kits that i have and again same in this one i do need to make a few more of the things and this is just regular rose gold kind of shiny card just use the label it's such an inexpensive thing i bought these boxes um one of them i think i bought in hobbycraft and the other I bought on Amazon because I've been going into Hobbycraft and the range and things like that for the last couple of weeks. Trying to find another one and couldn't, so I bought it on Amazon and it was like $3.99 or something on Amazon. Um, but I will not change this um, organisation, I don't think, for a long time now because I can just store these anywhere. Oh god, you'll hear my dog barking now. I can just store these anywhere under my desk in a drawer because they're quite small. You can see if, you know, that's my kit, they're only like an inch bigger taller um and they're just really handy and it would be great for you know moving you know if you ever have to move house you think right all my kits are ready to go so yeah i thought i'd haul these very quickly for you 
the moment they are just living on my uh, TV unit until I find better storage I'm just gonna pop you guys back down and finally put the final part of this section of this haul um, is a order from let me just make sure I'm not showing you guys my address um, order from Silent Beauty Plans. Um, this one did take a little while to come to me, but that's fine. Um, comes packaged like this. I didn't order huge amounts, but what I did order was things that I needed because they were things that I use on a fairly regular basis slash new things that I wanted for kind of functional planning. So let me just separate them all because I know I've got some freebies and things as well so okay. okay so picked up a bunch of like functional sheets first of all and a bunch of scripts so I'll show those in a second but the two freebies that I have I have um oh this is the August treat 2021 freebie which is like autumn and uh, autumn is calling it's got this beautiful full box i love 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 the um kind of clipboard checklist i have a bunch of them from again from d stashes and things that i've collected um i then have this one which is go hiking which i will be using definitely next week because i am away in cornwall for my birthday week next week guys i'm so excited um visiting my other half's parents because they have moved down there and they'll hopefully be moving into their house next week as well which will be fun so we can help them pack or unpack um or move um has a cute little albany colored leaf and then a little flag to go with it and then this is uh santa's freebie and she has a Facebook Live. She has a this week um, five star rating. She has the hair wash, the little coffee cup girl, the little bee coffee cup. And then this freebie that says smell the sea and feel the sky. And let your soul and spirit fly. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love that. And that's um, Sana's Instagram handle. So they were the freebies. Put those two on the side. Um, then, as I said, I bought a bunch of functional things. So these are the tiny colour coding dots in rainbow. So I bought two sheets of those because I will use those for, and they really are tiny guys. You can see just how teeny tiny they are. Um, but I'll use those in my functional planners and in my like weeklies and my social media. These are Etsy ones and they are teeny tiny. So I bought two sheets of those. These are email ones, so I'll use these mainly for work um, and mainly for when I'm clearing down my emails. I picked up only one of the Instagram ones because I already have another sheet that I think I got from a D-Stash, but the Instagram ones are brilliant. I use them all the time. Um, I picked up two Facebook ones because, again, I'm going to try and note down when I need to post things on Facebook I'm useless at posting things on Facebook so that will hopefully remind me and then YouTube ones so these are again super super tiny but in my classic dashboard is where I use them because I note down on the Monday to Sunday bit on the right hand side um what I post each day so I don't really do it as a plan unless I am genuinely like scheduling something. Um, but I will always do it as to what I've posted on that day just to show what I'm doing. And then I'll basically correspond that with my monthly social media spread. So I can see like an overview of how much I've posted each month, just kind of for my own benefit, really, just to kind of improve on posting and things like that. So with a full time job, it's very hard. So trying to keep track is something that's helping. Um, and then I picked up a bunch of new scripts and you guys know I have a ton of these anyway from previous hauls and I actually keep them in here. So this is a little micro sized book. I made it myself. Um, I made all the different dividers and things and you can see I have a bunch from Silent Beauty Plans as well as Legally Planning and these are all the like tiny scripts. So these ones I got were Anniversary nails i actually got two nails because i didn't realize i didn't have them 
uh, golf comp. So obviously when I'm caddying for my other half, who's a professional golfer, uh, schedule uploads, watching, editing session, and filming session. So they were just ones, I think a few of them were um, custom. I think those last four were custom or last five were custom, I can't remember. Um, but there is like a custom listing where you can obviously type the word or phrase that you want. So yeah, love that about these. And they are a perfect size and they fit everywhere, including in quarter boxes, which is normally where I put them when I'm doing spreads and things. So I will shortly punch those at the top and pop them into this. So that is that part of this haul. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you